Making the transition from the DVX or SD cameras to the HMC or HD cameras can be a little scary, but it really isn't. In this next segment, Amanda will be showing some differences with HD footage. With our new high definition HMC 150 cameras, the projects you film will be larger in size. Therefore, exporting HD footage is a little bit different. You can also follow these steps in cases which your SD programs is unable to fit the standard 4.7 gigabyte DVD. I'll first show you some differences when creating a new project in Final Cut Pro with HD footage. First things first, you always want to check your scratch disk before you begin to ensure you know where your files are going. To do so, go to Final Cut Pro in the menu bar System Settings, and then a window will be prompted. There are four areas where you can set or check where your files are being saved. Once finished, you can select OK. Next, to log your standard definition footage, you would normally go to File, Log and Capture. For HD footage, you'll use Log and Transfer. Just like with Log and Capture, a window will appear. Insert your SD card, and once you do, your files will automatically appear to the left. Then, as a best practice, it is important to rename your clips. Then, to transfer the footage, you can select the clips and drag it to the bottom window. or you can select Add Clip to Queue. Once completed, a blue dot will appear next to that clip. After you are finished, be sure to press the eject button to take out your SD card. Your clips will appear in your browser window, just like with using Lock and Capture. Something to be aware of is that the default sequence settings is not set for HD footage. So when you first add a clip to your sequence, a prompt will ask you if you want to change sequence settings to match your clip settings. Select Yes. And the clip will then appear in your timeline. Now, you can continue editing as you normally would do so. To export an HD file for playback on our channels, use the following steps. When you are completely finished editing in Final Cut Pro, set your in and out points in your program on the timeline. On the menu bar, go to File, Send to, Compressor. This will automatically open up the compressor program. Once compressor is open, in the lower left settings window, navigate to Apple SCC. Then select the setting HD MPEG for master control and drag it up to where your Final Cut Pro project is sitting. In the toolbar, navigate to Target, Destination, and Other. Select the location that this file should be saved to and click Open. Back to where your Final Cut Pro project is sitting, you may now choose to rename the file. When finished, click on Submit. Your file will begin exporting and you can monitor the progress in the History window to the right. To export a HD clip for the Studio Mac Playout computer, simply set your ins and out on the timeline and go to Export QuickTime Movie. Then as a best practice, make sure that you are renaming your clip. Ensure that the format is listed as Use Current Settings. 
Once exported, transfer that file to a hard drive or flash drive to be used in the Studio Mac Playout computer. The transition to HD footage can be scary only if you let it be. There are differences, but nothing to be afraid of. Keep in mind that the post-production workflow for HD footage may require longer waiting times for rendering, exporting, and compressing. Additionally, HD footage will require a lot more space, so we recommend investing in an external hard drive. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask any of our friendly SEC staff.